You're watching News Channel 8 Midday. As we get ready for the Winter Olympics starting tomorrow, we want to spend today acknowledging the 32nd anniversary of National Girls and Women's in Sports Day. Our next guest is a member of one of those organizations, the Washington Prodigy Women's Tackle Football Team. And oh, by the way, they're the national champions and getting ready to start training to defend their title. <laughs> want you to meet Ebby Okonkwo, who is our guest. Ebby, it's great to have you here. First of all, congratulations. Woohoo! Thank you so much. <laughs> National so champs. Success. Awesome. You're a linebacker, is that right? I am a linebacker. Um, I also play other positions. I'm also a defensive end. So um, every season... Versatile is yes. the word. Yeah. Versatility is a key. So uh, you've been on the team for three years, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Um, what does it mean to you to be part of this women's team? This team means everything to me. Um, being a Florida native and moving here for school, after school, you know, everyone moves away and the team became that family that I needed here. So the team isn't just about football, it's really a family and um, that's really one of the main reasons why I keep doing it. So were you in football in Florida? I was not. I played other sports. Um, I played um, soccer, I was in martial arts, um, and when I came up here I fell in love with football and I met someone who wanted to play and they were like, we have this team. And so I went out in the next year and that rest is history. You did have a little history of team sport. Absolutely. What is it like now? Because it, it's uh, National Girls and Women's Sports uh, observation is going on. Make the case for that though, because I sometimes think that, that women, young women, get involved in individual, per sport, individual pursuits and not maybe team sports. What does team sport mean to you? I mean, team sports is about being supported um, off the field and on the field. I think team sports really allow um, for interactions as an educator um, and as a coach. Um, I feel like the interaction that children gain and the ability to support each other in times of need, I think that's what team sports really does. Um, I think it allows you to have other opportunities with coaches as well and interact with people that might not be your age, um, with other people, the versatility, the um, ability to overcome when you lose. I know coaching, having to deal with those tough losses mm -hmm. has been big mm -hmm. um, and watching the character of children grow. Mm -hmm. So team sports is absolutely vital to, I think, a child's childhood. What you do, it's not the norm, not yet anyway. Right. <laughs> what kinds of comments do you get when you tell people, oh, I play professional women's tackle football. Many people don't believe that it's tackle. Um, they're always like, wait, so do you really wear a helmet? And so usually a lot of us have pictures like, look, this is us, this is really what we do. You have to document it. We have to document it. Luckily we have a professional photographer who comes and we get a lot of photos um, taken. Um, and so we have to really tell them, yes, we wear shoulder pads, we wear helmets. Yes, we have injuries. You know, we go through it all just like other football players. There's concern now about the safety of tackle football. You're in the middle of that and you see it from both sides. What do you think? You know, um, I'm really blessed with our organization. They really care about our health. It's not just about football. And um, they take the steps that we need to make sure that we stay as safe as possible on the field. I think as adults, that's the decision that we've made um, to play. And I think that we are just very lucky and blessed to have the athletic team that we, the organization that we have, because we do have people that are out there. We have physicians, we have physical therapists, and they make sure that we're okay. We get concussion testing done before every um, season, um, pre, uh, before the season starts, so that way we can check in and see where we are in case anything happens on the field. Good to hear, and I know you, you and your teammates do a lot of community service, and you've got a fundraising event coming up? We do. Um, we have a family skate night coming up, and um, it's just for the entire family to come and skate for the evening. Um, it helps us for, to be able to connect with the community, and it also helps us so that we can um, really be exposed and not just D.C. And where's that going to be held? It's going to be in Temple Hills, Maryland. Um, the Skate Palace. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Abby, thanks. Great Thank you so you much. Here. Thank you, guys. Best Go defend of luck. that trophy. Yeah. We will. <laughs> back to back. There okay. you go. <laughs> Thank you, Abby.